Time to get our PCR. Emily just went in there. Wish us luck. How's your nose feel? Clear. <laughs> oh, God. Was it rough? I cried. I had to blow my nose right after. That was... Oh, she asked me to blow my nose before. Oh, really? I think. I don't really know, actually. <laughs> Vamos a la tigra! A la montaña! We'll get our results at 9 o'clock tonight through email, and then tomorrow we can pick up the uh, physical results, so then we can head to the border! Nicaragua, here we come! On the road to La Tigra! Here we go! Hiking La Tigra National Park. Gonna do a three mile loop. Check out a nice mirror door. Might be able to see the city. It's actually raining a little bit up here. Really cool temperatures. Cloud <laughs> fires. Getting some pretty consistent critters here. Kind of buzzy ones. Come right by your ear constantly. I don't know. Definitely a well kept trail. Only garbage was near the beginning so far. I think we're both looking forward to finding out the results of our test. I don't feel like I got COVID, but I got allergies, so every day I wonder. We'll find out tonight at nine. We decided to hike up to the Mirador here. Beautiful green forest. Emily's hiding over there because she's cold. It's amazing to be so far south and be cold. I didn't think it was possible, but I love it up here in Honduras in the highlands. Soon we'll be at the beach, hot for months. We're at a latitude of 14.2 degrees north and hypothermia is setting in. <laughs> Not sure we're gonna make it. I'm freezing. <laughs> we're gonna die out here. Okay, vamos. Didn't bring any food. You can hear the jaguars in the trees. They just jump down on you, raining death from above. <laughs> Emily's going insane. She's babbling about land cruisers. Well, it's nice to be out here in nature, not having to wear a mask. But you know, one good thing about the pandemic is a lot of those restaurants and places in Mexico and, and Central American countries, they don't have soap in the bathroom pretty often. Just go use the hand sanitizer, check. Also wearing a mask in a stinky bathroom, why not? And another difference with the pandemic that's not necessarily bad, when you see other travelers at the hostel, you friends pretty quick because there's not many out here which also means there's less people in a lot of these spots now not to downplay the seriousness of the pandemic we've been traveling in a much different way than we would have been it's been nice to learn to slow down also and maybe more towards the start of the pandemic it was true but there were a lot less people selling stuff right in your face so uh, emily what do you think of this national park pretty nice it's kind of cold but the Cloud forest really delivers on the greenness of the area. Some stairs here. What do you think about the uphill downhillness? The stairs help. It's kind of steep, but it's not that bad. Ooh, I can't wait to hear about our COVID test. Oh, COVID test coming up next. We have taken five COVID tests so far. Um, three PCR, two antigen, and I think it's getting easier. What do you think? Oh man, I think the one today was kind of rough. The lady really got in there, she's spinning it. When they say, no, I'm gonna spin it. Just do it, don't tell me. Cause when we got it in San Salvador, that guy was a wizard with a Q-tip. <laughs> she was pretty good at it. I didn't think it was that bad, but I guess, but I did cry after. Some of them I don't cry, this one I did. You have to wipe your tears before you get out to the person that has to go next because I went first this time. So I did not want oh to do Oh my God. Know. Just found a tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check it out. Oh, I'm kind of scared. So here in this tunnel. Scary. 
Okay. You gonna stay there? Let me know how it goes. <laughs> it's going pretty muddy. Okay, there's boards again. What is the purpose? There's Emily way over there. I can hear water up ahead. Now I'm just mudding it up. This is muddy. And I think this is the end. I found the end. Oh my God, is it just gonna turn? This is wild. Over here. Here's a pit. Oh, there's just streaming out of this pit. There's a pit. We gotta ask the guy with the entrance. Wow. Emily's phone is dying and I'm in a deep cave. Oh sh Where were you? There's a bottomless pit over there at the end. I don't know what your phone, the battery's dying, and I was way staring down a bottomless pit. Oh my god. The light shuts off. Oh my god. That's terrifying. And then I started yelling for your name like, Emily, don't leave. Yeah. Well, there's the exit, so we're okay. Jeez, it felt like way far away. I know. Like any driver hike, huh? Yeah, or any kind of like mysterious trail. <laughs> It just gets muddier and muddier as you go in though. You made it! I didn't think there was a cave. I did not bring lights. Do you think do you think it was a mine? I don't know what. You go in there and there's just like a pit, like a deep pit. Well it comes to an end and then it turns. And then there's like a little side thing. And there's another side thing with a pit with a stick across in front of it. I looked down, I couldn't see the bottom at all. Whoa. Muddy. Look at these shoes. That tunnel did not seem safe because it was so muddy. You'd think like it could just cave in. It's so wet. It goes back super far. I don't think there's any supports here in water. Hopefully I can wash my shoes. shoes. They look great. Good job. The first look. cool out up here. It was out of our control. Here we are. About the center of Central America. Central Central America. <laughs> this is where they said you could probably camp with a dog very close. How does it look, Sombrita? What do you think? You want to go swimming? Well, we're probably just going to head down to the city and try to find a nice restaurant for our last night. coming up something like this but on the other hand you have to be very conscientious conscientious of your use of the brakes 
So I got it in second gear. Try to pump the brakes on and off a bit. You never want to hold on the brakes the whole way down. That means your brakes are going to be smoking. Right there, got a little mellower. I could let off for a minute, give them some air. But coming down steep terrain like this is something that we've had to learn. Mexico had a lot of steep roads and every other country since then. Not something that you typically deal with in the USA. But uh, it's no big deal. Here we have a nice straightaway, so here you definitely don't want to use the brakes. Let them cool down. <laughs> what in the world is this? This couch has a tail? Oh, a doge. A doji. Nice things about big cities. Got a vegan burger here. Happy vegan. Happy, happy, happy. We'll see, we'll see. Thanks for watching Hunter and Van Life. See you next time when we cross the Nicaraguan border.